Here we have a 2006 Saab 93 Vector Convertible in grey. Starts with the offside front tyre. Tread depth, we're looking at around 2 to 3 mil, so not a great deal. Offside front alloy. Very nice condition, just one or two light scratches, but no curving or scuff marks there. Looking down the offside of the bodywork, looks very nice, just one or two very light dinks, but no signs very dense there. Offside front quarter panel looks very clean. Mirror is in nice condition. Drive's door itself again looks very well. One or two light scratches could do with a polish. Very clean for its age. Some chips in the door edge definitely require some touchings. Looking at the roof, you can see it is a cloth. A bit of moss and stuff just needs a real good valet on the roof. Moving towards the rear arch, again to one or two light scratches. Like I said, there is some dinks in the paintwork. Bodywork is slightly off there on the rear arch, so that probably just needs clipping back in or something. And again, rear quarter looks fine. Rear tyre, bags of tread there, you've got a good 5 to 6 millimetres. And look at the offside rear alloy. Again, lovely condition. Bit of a scuff mark there, one or two scratches, but no curbing at all there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper, once again, no signs of any damage at all there. Very clean, some light scratches on the back of the tailgate just require a good mop and polish. But again, no signs of any damage, all looks in good order. Looking inside the boot, just needs a bit of a valet. You've got your spare wheel in there. We've run to the near side rear tyre, and we're looking at around 3 to 4 mil. Near side rear alloy, again lovely condition, no curbing or scuff marks there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, one or two light dinks in the front passenger door, no dents. As you can see, you've got a very long light scratch going down at the rear quarter there. Should be able to polish out, no problem, it's not the, not very heavy. A couple of touchings in the door edge, a couple of scratches to the paintwork, again usual cosmetic marks, light scratches to the door, uh, wing mirror. Again, some scratches to the front passenger door. Front panel's fine, front tyre, as you can see in the middle there, not a lot of tread at all. Very low indeed, it looks like it's going to need changing pretty soon. Near side front alloy, bit of a curb mark there. Bit of a curb mark there as well, so potential reefer, but nothing too heavy. Moving around to the front of the vehicle. Again, no signs of any damage at all. A couple of uh, stone chips to the bonnet, again some light scratches but very clean and it looks very good on the front. Take a look at the interior. We are looking at a full grey leather interior. Driver's seat looks very well, bolsters are good. Slight bit of wear into leather, again you'd expect it from a car at its age. Take a look in the back seats again, lovely condition, no damage. Leather looks very well, lovely and tidy there. Front passenger seat also in a good condition with a slight bit of wear into leather. Dashboard etc is in good condition. Steering wheel's not bad either, and all round it's a nice looking car. Stepping inside the vehicle, looking at 58,462 miles on the clock, so very low indeed. No symbols appearing on the dash at all, and you've even got nearly half a tank of fuel. Multifunction function steering wheel, like I said, it's not in bad condition. You've got your radio here. No issues at all functioning that, works perfectly fine. Now I have had the roof down and up, no problems at all working the roof, obviously the main factor of the car. Works perfectly fine, I've tried and tested it, and it went down and up with no issues at all. Now looking at the blowers, as you can see, no issues with the blowers at all. Air conditioning, you can see off on, I'm guessing that is on there and that is off there, so air conditioning and again no problems with the blowers manual transmission, you can see a little bit of wear in there to the buttons etc take a look at the documents, looking at the V5, now it is a copy as the plate is on retention car has had three owners, so three owners on the vehicle now it has got an MOT certificate till April 24th 2015, so plenty or a couple of months left on that really and service history, we are looking at plenty of service history with the vehicle 10,000 there for your first one 16,000, 21,000, 26, 33 47, 
56 been your last service there. So very recently serviced. Mileage wise it's done around 2,000 miles since it's last serviced. Well plenty of service history with the vehicle. There we go guys that is the 2006 Saab 93 Vector convertible. Lovely car for this upcoming summer. Hopefully we get the weather and uh, good condition all round. Couple of cosmetic marks. Good mileage and good service history as well.